Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about a very important topic which each and every single parent are actually searching for a solution. That is how to handle sibling fights. So today's content is suitable for kids taking from 2 year old to 10 year old. So you can relate it with your family your children and come up with beautiful solutions that will really help you to put your kids away from sibling fights. So let's see what they are. First, what is a sibling fight? When do kids start fighting? When there is some disagreement with respect to maybe it is a toy or maybe watching a cartoon. When there is a disagreement between two people, there comes an argument leads to a fighting then sometimes also leads to the physical or verbal bashing so as parents it is very important for us to understand when to step in into the sibling fights sometimes it is actually good to stand back from a disagreement and let siblings sort out things on their own because as parents we shouldn't pitch in as and when required and sort things if we allow them to argue to with each other and come up with a solution these will also help kids to develop the problem solving skills so if the fight is really going high and when you feel that there is an adult need to sort it out that is when we are supposed to get into a sibling fights so now how to sort the fight between two children first is stop the fight before they start crying for example as parents it is very important for us to always have an eye on our kids because we generally understand in what instances they'll start fighting and all and it is better to warn them before they start fighting for example say if they are playing with one particular toy and you already know that both of them want the same thing then before this get into the fighting you can once hint them just say, make sure you both are not fighting for that otherwise i'm not going to allow you to play with that toy so that is when they will actually understand that oh i shouldn't fight and i should cooperate with my sibling to play along and the second thing is keeping your control it is very important as parents for us to keep cool because generally as parents as soon as there is a fighting in between kids we tend to shout upon either one of the kids but that will not sort the issue and they will not even understand how to handle any fights or conflicts hereafter so as parents it is our responsibility to keep calm and make them understand who are correct who are not the third thing is tell children that you will talk about it later as soon as there is a fight children are not in a mood to listen to us so it is very important for us to not sort or explain to them what is the right thing then and there it is because obviously they'll not be in a mood to understand or at least listen and accept what we are saying so we can help them with the explanation maybe once they are calmed down or maybe some next day so how to handle the sibling fights constructively first treat all the children fairly not equally for example we always tend to say you are the youngest one in the family you are the eldest one why can't you at least compromise for your brother or sister so this is not fair because you have to address the issue they're not about who is elder who is younger and also you shouldn't uh, take sides rather you have to treat fairly giving a fair judgment as on in that particular issue who is correct who is not Obviously, we would not treat a 8-year-old and a 3-year-old same way, but still, it is very important for kids to understand that you are treating them fairly, but not partially. Your elder one shouldn't feel that you're always uh, taking your younger one's side. So, that also will deploy some sort of negative impression on your elder one. Whatever I do, my mom always says, uh, you can't do this, you can't do this because you are the oldest one and all. So, this shouldn't be the case. You have to treat kids fairly. And the second tip, is avoid negative comparisons you cannot always see look at your brother how he how well he is doing look at your sister how nicely she is studying you shouldn't compare siblings because that is where the actual rivalry triggers in their brain it is we parents who are giving them chance to create a misfire between both of them by comparing each other we always should compare constructively but we shouldn't compare in such a way that where they will not like their siblings because nobody wants their parents to um, take the other child's side and encourage and motivate them so make sure you are not comparing two kids for any reason because obviously the ages of two kids are different the mentality behavior of the children are different so we cannot compare two kids so Please don't make this mistake of comparing your two children because that is where they have this sort of 
uh, aggressiveness towards the other child they will not accept the other child it is because we parents are creating that in their brain without consciousness and the third important thing is identify the cause of the fighting whenever there is a fight you should make sure what is the cause of this fighting see whenever there is a fight it is very important for us to first understand what the fighting is about we cannot just to scream or yell from kitchen or somewhere else saying why are you doing so and all rather we have to go to them for example if a child has pushed a sibling and taken their toy you need to step in if you don't the child will learn the way that fighting is the only way to get things done so that is what they are learning if you are not stopping them and explaining it to them what is right what is not both the kids may take their own sides so it is very important as parents to keep an eye on them and decide upon what the fighting is about and sort it out accordingly you can also use this fourth rule use family rules you always can set an example for your kids as a wife and husband as parents it is very important for you to keep cool first and then you have to set an example for your kids at home saying have we ever fighted like you then why are you fighting like this it is not good to fight you have to sort out things by talking to each other this is how you should explain to them and for this to happen first as parents you should not slam the door in front of kids you should not argue in front of kids or you should not um, exchange verbal bashing or any physical violence things like this because parents are the first mentors of kids whatever they are learning are from their parents in the first place so as parents it is very important to set an example for your kids whenever they are fighting tell them have you ever seen us fighting so whenever a child is breaking a family rule you can tell them you broke the family rules you cannot fight like this in the house so you are supposed to stand in the corner for maybe 30 minutes today in this way they understand that oh everybody else in the house are following the family rules of not shouting at each other or not fighting or not screaming and yelling so i shouldn't do it for the next time and i don't want to stand in that corner so this is how you have to build family rules constructively so that even kids will uh, be sure of not uh, coming out of those rules so next how to solve the problem of fighting let your kids know what you have decided with respect to that fight for example if they are fighting for a uh, tab at the same time then you can say if you are fighting for the next time i have decided not to give the tab to either of you or you can say them this is the time set for you to use it and this is the time set for you to use it so there shouldn't be a conflict in between otherwise if the kids are little older you can ask them to come up with a solution because this will trigger their brain on conflict resolution as well conflict resolution is a very very important issue where kids are not able to handle once they come into their school life they are not able to solve the problems by their own because as parents we are always pitch in and solve their problems we are not giving them any chance to sort things on their own so when you have siblings at home it is always good to give them an opportunity to come up with a solution and sort things on their own this will help them come up with different ideas and then they can put it across you as parents and then you can tell which would be the best one to choose for that and when there is a conflict you can also do this ask the children to say their version separately then ask them to think from each other's perspective that is when they will actually understand the feelings of others they will understand the empathy these all can be developed at home itself provided we keep some family rules like this one more thing is there is always a misconception between siblings that my mom will take care of only my brother or my mom will take care of only my sister this is happening because the child is feeling that you are not giving them sufficient time maybe whatever be the reason it may be true may not be true but that is there in the child's brain and that is the only reason he is behaving like that towards his sibling so as parents it is very important for us to understand when this is happening as soon as this happened you have to give time to each and every child separately that is when they feel they are the priority for you you have to take time for both your kids independently maybe uh, your younger one likes to spend time with you in the kitchen you have to take him to the kitchen maybe your elder one likes time with you while uh, walk in the night or maybe uh, in the activity area so you have to spend time with both of your kids separately and this is very important for a parent without which a child will be left in a misconception that one child is being treated well the other is being ignored as parents we absolutely treat both of them so equal but 
this is the misconception because of which they will not like their sibling and that they will not even show up and we miss it out and down the line after some 10 years or 15 years of time they keep piling up all these and once they will come back and tell you this is the reason i'm not liking him or i'm not liking her so as parents it is very important for us to quickly understand what's going on in house to make sure there is a healthy sibling relationship and one more thing, if you want to punish a child for some reason in between the fights, it is always important for you to punish the child privately because there are kids who feel so inferior if you punish them in front of people around or in the family members or maybe in front of their own sibling because one sibling when you punish them in front of the other will feel it very low and the other will take it as a pride of winning. It may not be true but that is the thing which kids understand they only understand whatever they are seeing so it is very important for you to punish the child separately treat the child independently or individually as soon as there is a fight first you ask them to get separated make them to sit in two different sofas or two different rooms go to them speak to them sort out the problem this is for the kids who are like little older not the preschoolers but yes you have to talk to them separately and you have to sort out things separately we as parents always should make sure that there is a positivity which is being built in kids brain which will go a long way to have a happy sibling relationship between kids so hope you have really understood how to take care of sibling fights at home and um, i'll see you again in the next video till then don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much bye